sweet from Chicago Sun Times from Washington Bureau. I could not be prouder of the other young men who are here today. President Obama launched a new initiative to help African-American and Hispanic boys and young men called My Brother's Keeper. It's a partnership between federal and local governments, corporations, and charitable organizations. The new effort to help boys and young men of color who face tough times has its roots in Chicago in a program called Becoming a Man. Uh, and it helps young men who show a lot of potential but may have gotten in some trouble to stay on the right path. One of the Becoming a Man participants, Christian Champagne, introduced the president at the Thursday kickoff event at the White House. But those challenges have not stopped me from, from wanting to have a better and safer place to live and work. He first met President Obama in February 2013, when Obama visited his Southside school and talked to the boys in the Becoming a Man mentoring and counseling program. And to my surprise, he was just like me, growing up without a father and sometimes not too concerned with school. Joining the president at the White House for the announcement, Mayor Rahm Emanuel, former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and General Colin Powell. After the event, I caught up with White House Senior Advisory Valerie Jarrett in the White House briefing room. He realized he had to take responsibility, and he believes that they can too, and they already have. The ones that are participating in this program are turning their lives around, and he believes in them. And outside the West Wing, Emanuel and Bloomberg. A lot of what we're trying to invest in is giving these kids a moral foundation and grounding that to date has been absent. For the Chicago Sun-Times, I'm Lynn Sweet.